Hey guys, it's Commander Video here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing DC Perspective versus Let's Talk Elections. Um, so let's get into this. So of course we're going to be starting in California, where I think the, I mean, LTE is easily going to win California. He's going to be getting huge Asian support, huge Hispanic support, and huge gay support. So he's gay. Brown Eagle is just going to be having a hard time expressing the Hispanic vote when they're so enthusiastic for LTE. They love him. Um, and Jeff. Um, is also going to be endorsing LTE. Jeff loves LTE. I think he might be gay for LTE. Jeff is probably gay for LTE. Um, so California easily goes blue. And then Alaska obviously goes red. Hawaii goes blue. Even more Asians there. And then obviously Arizona, I think, is easily going to go for LTE. I mean, demographic changes are a thing there. And Lalo is not going to be endorsing DC Perspective because Lalo thinks he's too bad at optics. He's too America first. So Lalo, and Lalo's a snake neocon. And he's, he's, he's a traitor to the America first movement. So Arizona, I, with demographic Graphic changes, I think, is easily going to go blue. And then Utah is obviously easily going blue. Um, obviously, Thouner Army of Simps are going to come out huge for LTE since they hate DC Perspective because he's a he's America first. And they 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 want neocons, so they want Let's Talk Elections. And the Lincoln Project also comes out for LTE, too, so that's going to make Utah even safer blue. And then Nevada, obviously, is going to go blue. I mean, DXDT is gay, too. He's going to get a huge gay furry army to come out huge for the LTE in Nevada and Las Vegas, so he can easily win the state. So Nevada can go easily blue. And then Oregon, I mean, it's Oregon. I mean, I mean, Antifa's pressing the Republican vote, and and Blue Voyager's pressing the Republican vote too, and putting Red Voyager in prison forever. And then Washington, obviously, going blue too. I mean, Post, he's a part of Antifa. He's also going to be pressing the Republican vote in Washington to make that state easily go blue. And then the rest of these farm states are easily going to go for DC perspective because they hate the Green New Deal. They hate. AOC and guess what? Let's talk elections. Loves AOC and DC perspective is gonna make that a point. I mean, he's gonna be talking to the farmer saying, "Hey, you hate, you hate, you hate AOC. You hate the Green New Deal. Guess what? I also hate the Green New Deal and I hate AOC. So if you hate AOC, you're gonna come and vote for me." And let's talk elections. He loves AOC. He loves the Green New Deal. So the farmers hate that and they're gonna come out huge for DC perspective as a result. And then Colorado and New Mexico are easily going to be going for Let's Talk Elections. I mean, George Floyd and LTEs, very high rallies in Colorado, um, are easily going to make this state go blue. And the Hispanics are just not going to be as enthused with DC perspective. And Texas, I think it's going to go red. I mean, I'm going to come out for him. I'm going to be doing very rallies for him in Texas. So we, so that state can easily go red. Um, but Hispanic, I mean, it's going to be close too because Beto is going to be doing um, fiery threesome rallies with LTE himself and his wife life with avocados are gonna be there it's gonna be like a huge party in battles rallies but texas i think i still think is gonna go red um, Texas is gonna go red easily, and then the rest of the South is it's it's gonna be going red. I mean, Republicans are racist, they're bullshit, they're unreasonable. They're suppressing the black vote. That's why these states always keep going red. And Georgia, obviously, all in suppressing the black vote and getting huge suburban turnout for DC perspective in Georgia, so he can easily win the state. Florida, I think, is also gonna go for DC perspective. Um, Xenox and his elite team of hackers hate LTE with a the passion. They hate that he's gay, and they hate his channel. They hate everything about him. So they're gonna be coming out huge for DC perspective, hacking into. LTE's campaign, stealing all the campaign funds and giving them the DC perspective so he can run his campaign better, so play more ads. And in North Carolina, DC perspective easily wins that state. I mean, it's his home state. It's also Baxter's home state, and Baxter endorses LTE, tries to make the state close by talking about healthcare, talking about how good the Green New Deal is, how good the healthcare plan in it is. But DC, it's DC perspective's home state. Tom Phillips and Farway are going to be getting huge white turnout for DC perspective in North Carolina to make that state easily go red. So North Carolina easily goes red. And and is and Tennessee is gonna go blue. And here's why. Because Boward, he's gay. He's from Tennessee. And guess what? LTE, he's gay too. Those two things just play hand in hand. So so Boward being gay in Tennessee is easily gonna make Tennessee go blue. West Virginia is gonna be going easily blue because Fletcher and BTD's fiery naked rallies are gonna make that state go blue. And then Kentucky, same thing. The coal sink workers are gonna come out for LTE in Kentucky too. Um, you know, um, Fletcher, BTD, and LTE are going to be having threesomes into Kentucky, which are going to make the coal steam workers, you know, they love that. They love that kind of stuff, and they're going to come out for LTE because of that. And Virginia is easily going blue. I mean, the establishment hates DC perspective with a passion. So they're easily going to be coming out for LTE, and Virginia is easily going to go blue. I mean, the establishment hates 
a DC perspective. And then Ohio is easily going to go red. I mean, Dylan Wiley is going to be doing fiery racist rallies in Ohio, suppressing the black vote, getting huge white turnout, putting Nina Turner Rice in prison for being traitors to this country. And Ohio is easily going to go red because of that. Thank you, Dylan Wiley. And then, obviously, LTE is going to be winning Indiana. Pete Buttigieg is going to be getting huge gay turnout um, for LTE in Indiana, so he can easily win the state. Illinois is going to be going for DC perspective. Nick Fuentes is going to be getting his huge Groiper army to come out huge for DC perspective in Illinois in the rural areas. And, and Orangutan Nathan is going to get his Orangutan army out huge for DC perspective. And Charlie Kirk is going to be put in prison by the Groiper army, so they don't endorse DC. So Charlie Kirk doesn't endorse DC perspective. Um, so. So, Illinois easily goes red. And then, obviously, in Minnesota and Wisconsin, I mean, the fire of diesel protests are hurting Democrats in these states. The Democrats are literally doing so bad in the polls right now. Um, DC, DC perspective has it. It's doing so well in these states. The fire of diesel protests are hurting Democrats in these states. They want law and order, and DC perspective stands for law and order. He's going to be campaigning on that, and he's easily going to win the states because of that. Michigan, too, he's going to be talking about jobs in Michigan. Other jobs have went to China. How I'm going to bring back the jobs from China. And law and order, because Detroit's also a shithole, too. And Patriot's going to come out for DC perspective, too. Doing some fiery rallies. Red Eagle, too. Red Eagle, Patriot, and Kathy Zoo, DC perspective, are going to be doing fiery rallies in Michigan. And they're also going to be calling out Gretchen Whitmer on her bullshit, too. And DC is going to be going blue. I mean, it's DC. I mean, DC perspective was in DC for a while, but now he's in North Carolina. And LT is easily winning DC. Maryland's easily going for LT. I mean, it's his home state. I mean, LT is going to be getting huge gay TikTok turnout in Maryland. To, the, to make that state easily go blue. Delaware is also going to be going red. Um, Delaware goes red because Kevin and Finnegan's fire naked rallies in Williamton, Iowa with Larry Hogan as their mayor. And then... New Jersey is going red. Connecticut's going red. Pennsylvania is going to be going blue. I mean, the coal sink workers are going to come out huge for LTE because of Fletcher and BTD. And Western Pennsylvania and Mike's going to be getting huge suburban turnout for LTE in Pennsylvania to make that state go blue. And then New York is going to be going red. Kevin, I mean, New York Groiper and Finnegan are going to be doing fire naked rallies in New York City, arresting AOC, saying, talking about law and order. We need to bring back law and order to New York City. Upstate New York is also going to be looking at what's happening to New York and saying, we need to vote Republican. So we're going to come out huge for DC perspective. Fish is going to come out for LTE because Fish simps for LTE. Um, LTE, um, Zool Baby and Fish are, are, they always have threesomes together. Um, and LTE kind of told Fish to make the app a mess. So LTE is fish is god um so fish is endorsing lte talking about those yapa mess jobs saying how we need illegal immigrants so we can fire our workers and replace them with illegal immigrants to pay them less but new york is still gonna go red and then rhode island and massachusetts i think is i think they're gonna go red because matt gagnon hates lte with a passion so he's not gonna come out for him he's gonna come out for dc perspective give his gagnon ubi to dc perspective and his fat army is gonna be coming out huge for dc perspective in those states and then vermont uh he sticks endorses dc perspective new hampshire and maine go red so i hope so the final map has um, DC perspective winning in a landslide with 342 electoral votes to the Let's Talk elections 196. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave video ideas in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Let's Talk Elections Gaming out.